Hello everybody and today we are going to talk about shutter angles and how they are different from shutter speeds. Now you have probably heard of shutter angles before and wondered how it's different from shutter speeds and in this video I'm assuming that you are already familiar with the concept of shutter speeds and if you are not I would recommend finding that out first before continuing to watch this video. Now shutter angle and shutter speed are both fundamentally similar in terms of their function. They both function to determine the duration of the exposure of a single frame. However, shutter angle is only relevant in motion picture, otherwise known nowadays as video. You will not encounter shutter angle in stills photography. And why shutter angle is used dates back to the days of celluloid film, whereby film camcorders used a shutter mechanism known as a rotary shutter. Now to make it easier for me to demonstrate, I'm going to use one of these. Love it or hate it, it's here to play this. So in case you don't have access to the internet, in which case I have no idea how you are watching this video off YouTube right now, this is called a fidget spinner, and I'm going to use this to represent my rotary shutter. But first I'm gonna have to make a small modification, be right back. So I've taped a disc made out of black duct tape onto my fidget spinner, and this is a more accurate representation of a rotary shutter. It's basically an opaque disc with a section of it cut out. So if this represents the shutter and my eye represents the film that is to be exposed and I put it up to my eye, then Illuminati confirms. So if my eye is the film that is to be exposed and the camera is rolling, then the shutter will spin and my eye will only be exposed to an image once that slit passes along the front of my eye. So I'm going to hold this up in front of the camera lens to give you a more visual representation of what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up in front of the camera lens. For every frame that is recorded, the rotary shutter will rotate one full round, which means the time it takes for the rotary shutter to complete one round is the duration of one frame. Now the standard motion picture frame rate is 24 frames per second, which means when the camera is recording at speed, this will be rotating at 24 RPM. Now the shutter will block the film from being exposed to any light until the clear sector passes along the front of the film. Now this is a 45 degree sector, so this represents a shutter angle of 45 degrees. So the larger the shutter angle, the longer the exposure for each frame. So for example, if this was a 180 degree shutter angle, my rotary shutter here would be only left with a semicircle. And when it's recording, only exactly half the duration of each frame is going to be exposed. So assume we are shooting at 24 FPS, then each frame is going to last for 1 24th of a second, and at a 180 degree shutter angle, exactly half the duration of each frame is being exposed. That means the exposure time, otherwise we know today as the shutter angle for each frame, is 1 48th of a second. So it is possible to calculate the equivalent shutter speed of a shutter angle. All you have to do is take your frame rate multiply that by the shutter angle and then divide that by 360 and you have your shutter speed. It's quite a bit of math. So that is my explanation of shutter angles compared to shutter speed. So I hope I have been able to answer your question on what is a shutter angle in today's video. Any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. So that's pretty much it for today everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.